Risa applies her immense talents to all kinds of projects and she does it with great success. And she's just creating tremendous good in the world. And I can think of no one more worthy of this award than Risa Sweet. Risa has this problem. Wherever she goes, she has to make a difference. If I wanted to describe Risa's passions, I would start off with the Jewish people. When she talks about her belief in Judaism and the Jewish people wherever they are, then there's excitement. She doesn't mind being unpopular. She doesn't mind standing up. She was marching with Martin Luther King for rights for everybody. When Risa and I went to the General Assembly of the um, Jewish Federations of North America, and we were up in Montreal, and they had their first meeting about the Ethiopians, and she was absolutely inconsolable about what was going on, and she was just all over the place. And then, of course, she led the, uh, the path towards fighting for Ethiopian Jews, when it wasn't out on the radar screen for anybody. When we talk about Risa and her passion for Judaism, for justice, you really can't do it without mentioning her husband, Ira, of blessed memory. He was always willing to stand up when he thought what he thought was right. And he really didn't uh, pay a lot of attention if there were going to be any personal consequences. Talking about Risa and why she should be honored, you'd have to start with her father, Louis Gofarb, because Louis was a man of such amazing substance and just personified giving, caring, um, social justice. Risa ran with that ball, and if you look at her family, they are just amazing sources of being in the right place, doing the right things, caring. And it didn't just happen accidentally. So this is, this is Risa shining through. If you feel strongly about something, that transcends what the consequences will be. If you don't speak it or you don't say it, then you have to suffer that you kept your mouth quiet and that you didn't, re you didn't respond or you didn't react to what you knew what was, had to be said. You can see the best of what Judaism is about, get an understanding of the culture and you can, uh, and the history, and become closer to the Jewish people and do it all while you're having fun. Because really having fun and enjoying life is what it's about. I always say that if you can make a difference and have fun doing it, and if we can pass that on to the next generation, uh, then we're really going to have a better world. And the network of people that they're creating, whether they're born orthodox or conservative or secular, this transcend it because they all know that they're, that they're Jews underneath and their fate is going to be connected. I would have loved to have had that opportunity. And this type of program is probably one of the greatest gifts that you can give your child because you're providing them not only with the information and knowledge, but the support group and the sense of who they are and their sense of connection with Judaism. And the fact that not only will they be empowered, they'll be in a position to empower others. And they may even empower you. To the girls of Batya and to your parents, because I know you're out there in the audience tonight, I just want you to know that Risa Sweet embodies this message that you guys have internalized and brought into your own lives in a huge way. What Risa Sweet embodies is, if you think something is right, get up and do it. That's what she's done her whole life with tremendous results. And I know that if you apply that to yours, you'll have tremendous results too.